Ebru, man. We over here chopping up with him. He's the artist attending the uh, conference, man. So go ahead and holler at my people, man. Give me your info. Yo, what's, what up? This is Ebru. I'm from the Bahamas. Reggae dance all artist. You can catch me on Instagram at I B R U M U S I C Ebru Music on all uh, social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter. And uh, you can catch my music on uh, YouTube, Spotify, all the digital platforms. All right. So now uh, you said you're from uh, the Caribbean and I've been I've been to the Bahamas a couple of times. Right. Uh, I actually just came back from celebrating my anniversary with my wife uh, from St. Croix. We went to the okay. Virgin Islands in St. Croix and we went to Puerto Rico. All right. Nice. So we got hopped around a little bit. I'm kind of familiar with it down there. It's a life. I want to go back. I don't know if I can live there because it's an <laughs> island and I'm gonna run out of stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I need There's to be able to, to do. I need to be able to just drive a little bit farther than 30 minutes until I hit water. You know what I'm saying? Right, but, right. I'll you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but for the most part, man, um, I had a good time visiting. So let's talk about um, what it's like being an artist, you know, down in the Bahamas. You know, and because when I was down there, um, <clears throat> I went to a couple of, like local bars. That's what I like to do. I don't like to just go to like the main tourist attractions. Right. I went to a couple of local spots. Um, actually ran across a, a showcase like an artist showcase when i was in um in puerto rico which was crazy you know what i'm saying like right. the fact that i'm in the industry and i just happened to just go to this bar and, all, and didn't even know it yeah. they were having a showcase there so um they got artists there they got independent music they got you know the uh, their own industry like what is it like you know being in the bahamas and coming up from that area doing music well i mean the the music the music uh arena down there is, is huge there's a lot of talent down there there's right. a lot of talent and uh they're just trying to find ways to be heard so you know you you, you have a few out of the big pack that actually make it out you know right and, and uh just i i think some of them are kind of disenfranchised because you know we're not connected to the mainland right we're like you know that distance off you have to like travel but the internet today have have uh kind of flattened that that playing the field a little bit you yeah know? yeah i mean i mean pretty much like you know and i'm from florida originally and so i grew up with not a lot but a, a fair amount of just exposure to, to to caribbean music you know what i'm saying right like exposure to the culture a little bit um you know certain parts of florida you know it's real heavy you know what i mean right and you know some pe i meet other people that's in the mainland they're from middle america you yeah. know what i'm saying where you know, right. no reggae, no nothing gets played. They have no beaches. They don't feel like being Caribbean. This the vibe right. just don't gel with what their everyday life is on a farm or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it doesn't match up. But right. um, but where I'm from, you know, I actually you know was into a lot of a lot of it. You know, kind of growing up. You know, and, um, you know, I I love the uh, I love when you know the, the genres fuse with hip hop. Yeah. So yes. so so how do you feel about you know collaborating or do you try to collaborate with actual just not just other Caribbean artists but actual hip hop artists to blend to make that that sound that used to really be really Definitely. really popular? Definitely. Actually, I, I love the blend, you know, with uh, reggae and hip hop because I mean it gives you like the best of both worlds. Yeah. And uh, it, it it widens and broadens the, the audience, you know. And I, I think I think uh, it's something that, that needs to happen more mm -hmm. in the music industry. And uh, just, just kind of like bring, kind of, kind of fuse people together more, you know, because uh, a lot of people need to be more open to yeah. learn about, you know, that side of the music uh, on both sides. Right, right, right. Well, man, you know, so I got to ask you because we're at the Music Business uh, Empowerment Conference. First of all, how did you hear about the conference? Are you in town just for this event or what's going on with that? Uh, well, I was in town. I came, came down with... Uh, my PR guy out of Miami, uh, Ricky Virtuoso. And, okay. And uh, we, we were doing the BET Awards, and uh, at the same time, we found out about the conference, so it was like, you know, kill two birds with one stone. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So you guys kind of did a little a little bit of the, of, the, of the star crowd, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you come back over here to where the grind is really right. at, you know right. what I'm saying, which is yeah. night and day, obviously. Yeah. You know, because everybody's a star or wants to be a star. You know, uh, two different places. You know what I'm saying? But right. uh, I hope you guys got a lot out of it while you were down here. Oh yeah, we did. We Absolutely, did. man. And this conference is great because uh, I mean it's a great networking uh, event, and uh, for you know in the indie artists, you know to just uh, connect with some of the clubs in the industry. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Well, listen, man. Uh, tell us about your actual uh, song that you got out, the single. Where can they find it? What's 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 popping with you right now? What do you got actually out right now? Right now, I got I got an EP that released and uh, was released in late August. Uh -huh. It's called Great One, and uh, the the lead single on it is 
great one. And then I have another single, uh, another song on there called Feel Your Pain. Okay. It's doing pretty well. Yeah. Well, I love I love that vibe. But like I said, you know, I've I've taken a couple of vacations, you know what I'm saying, down to the Caribbean. Right. Um, I've been to the Bahamas three times. Nice. You know what I'm saying? And like yeah. I said, Port- my first time going to Puerto Rico and, and um, the Virgin Islands was this summer in July. And um, so I'm fresh off that still. I'm still... You know what I mean? <laughs> Had me a good time down there. You Shut know what I'm saying? Beach, beach shirt on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Keep that vibe going. Yep, yep. So uh, I'm definitely going to be, I'll, I'll be going back until I leave off this planet. Right, I'll be right. frequent. Every year I try to get me at least one sh- one down there. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere, you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, it's good to meet you, bro. Uh, looking forward to yes. uh, maybe hearing some of that music at some point sometime too. Definitely. You feel me? Yeah. Absolutely, man. One more time, give them that social media. Yo, it's the brew. Catch me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. At Ebru Music, I B R U M U S I C. Check them out, man. From the islands, man. Bahamas is in the building. They coming from everywhere over here. This is the Music Business Empowerment Conference, and this is K100 Radio. K100 Radio.